charge them extra. Yeah. We charge them extra. We charge them niggas extra. Yeah, come on, we charge them niggas extra. Exactly. Let's go to the mixed party, boys. We're going to the fucking moon. Back with another recipe video. 13k. Yeah! What the fuck? 13k. I've been doing reaction videos for like eight months. Fastest growing YouTube channel in the world. It might not look like it because I had the channel for like a year, probably like two years. But when you look at when I started reaction videos, that they look at. Switching it up though. Nine Hunters Who Became Hunted, part two. It's 20 minutes long, so I'm gonna probably get like 10 minutes in. And then I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna have y'all let me know if y'all want the part two. Viewer discretion be advised. We want the content to lower your eyes. If you do the minds, if you do the spies. The Discord. Make sure you get in the Discord. Sometimes I forget to put it in the description. So if you go to the comments, it'll be a link right there. Check that out, you feel me? I already said all the viewer discretions and everything like that. See, Discord already jumping. Already wake up with the Discord, man. Wake up to the... Di all right, let's go. Around Christmas in 2021, Polish man Leszek Kamenicki was part of a group hunt near Chelm in the country's southeast. Eat your fruit. If you smoke, you do all that good shit. But don't eat a lot of fruit. Cause you know they be spraying that shit and trying to kill us with all that shit. So make sure you get the right fruit, you damn. At around Christmas in 2021, right. Polish man Leszek Kamenicki was part of a group hunt near Chelm in the country's southeast. First person video captured by the man's head mounted camera would show him approaching a stag that was hiding in the undergrowth. Kamenicki had his weapon raised but didn't have time to fire as the stag charged him at blinding speed. The video would show the moment that the stag's oh, ankle oh, oh, oh. struck Kamenisky and sent him falling to the ground subsequently went viral. The hunter let out an audible groan and later uploaded a selfie showing the attack's gruesome aftermath. The stampeding stag had gouged one of Kamenisky's eyes, leaving a gaping wound from which blood poured on his face. He suffered additional damage to the crown of his head. The hunter also took a photo of his blood-splattered rifle. His companions assisted him, and he was taken to a hospital. I would have bust that bit. Oh, oh, boom, boom, boom. I would have, I would have been, boom, boom. You got me, boy, why I would have shot the shit out that fucking. From which blood. I would have been, who? He suffered additional damage I, to the crown of his head. I don't know. The hunter know. also took a photo <laughs> of his blood-splattered rifle. His companions assisted oh, no. him, and he was taken to a hospital where he underwent. It'd be easy to say what you will do until that shit coming right at you. <gasps> Didn't even shoot. Got fucking killed for real. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Kamenisky took another selfie from his hospital bed, which showed that his eye was severely swollen. He'd been extremely fortunate to have taken yeah, a step right. to the side when the stag came running at him. The antler penetrated his socket at an angle that left his nerves and eye muscles intact. I would have stepped to the side and choked me. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. That's what I, mean. I would have fucking choked him out. That's my plan for anything that, if any animal bites me, I'm going to choke him. I got a mean choke hole. I'm going to choke the life out of you. Fuck. Number eight. That's just what I Chris think I'm going to do. Sherry. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Australian I think I'm going to do Australian trophy hunter Chris McSherry and a friend were bow hunting at Port Bradshaw off the Northern Territory on June the 12th. You bow hunting. So that means you missed that first one. You got to... Break it back in the, No, that's too too much. Too much. The seventh of twenty. You about to get hurt for real. shot several arrows into a buffalo that reportedly weighed over 1,700 pounds. He was waiting for the animal to keel over when it suddenly ran towards him. McSherry was gored in the upper thigh and violently pushed forward. The buffalo then plunged its horns into the 35-year-old hunter's body again and flung him nearly 10 feet. After McSherry fell, the buffalo pinned him to the ground with its horns. The father of five was able to escape by rolling away from it, and the buffalo eventually succumbed to its injuries. McSherry was taken to Grove. Nah, I don't want to. Nigga, you taking that picture like you wasn't about to die by this damn buffalo. 
That ain't no trophy picture, nigga. That's that's your maker. You almost met your match, bro. Hospital with several wounds to his lower body, including a hole above his right knee, which he estimated was about the size of a soda can. He was then transferred to Darwin for surgery. McSherry, who'd been hunting for two decades, told a media outlet that the incident hadn't been his first brush with death while out in the wild. In the past... No disrespect. You got what you deserve. Nigga, if I'm out there on the waves and a shark bite my leg, and I go back out there and I fucking try to surf again, and I come back, oh my God, my leg bit again. Please, please feel sorry for me. Nope. Not gonna happen. Jerry, who'd been hunting Not for two happen. decades, told a media outlet that the incident hadn't been his first brush with death while out in the wild. So in the past, he was charged by a crocodile while he was spear fishing. But in spite of that, and his most recent close call, he don't learn. The spear ain't work with the alligator. You try to use a spear on an alligator. Ben. Try to use a spear on a buffalo, nigga. Get you a rifle or something. Like, you ain't tripping. McSherry was determined to continue hunting. Number seven, Osgur Gevrekolu. A Turkish man suffered a fatal accident during a hunting trip in the Alakam district of the Samsun province in the late fall of 2022. Osgur Gevrekolu aged 32 wasn't the victim of an animal attack but nevertheless became the hunted in a rather unusual scenario involving his dog as reported by local media outlets Gevrikolu was loading hunting gear into his car when he placed a loaded shotgun into the boot his dog jumped into the vehicle as well the pet stepped on the weapon's trigger while the barrel was pointed towards Gevrikolu. it discharged and blasted the hunter at point blank range killing him almost instantly damn he was first taken to it talk about man's best friend nigga your man's took you out oh, the pet stepped on the weapon's trigger while the barrel was pointed towards gevrikolu it discharged and blasted the hunter at point blank range killing him almost instantly the man's body was first taken to a district hospital and then transferred to the capital samson for a post-mortem examination it was reported that he'd become a father 10 days before his death on social media. Gevrikolu had several pictures that showed him with different dogs taken during hunting trips, but it wasn't specified which animal had been involved in the fatal incident. Number six. We got a doggy murderer on the loose. Doggy murderer on the loose. If y'all see any dogs in the pound coming from where he from, hey, he might know how to work that gun, boy. Rodney Buffett. Rodney Buffett. Canadian hunter Rodney Buffett was on a trip to the south coast of New Finland in October of 2017 when he spotted a Hey Ty, y'all got them big ass water buffaloes out there, whatever that is. Ty, y'all got them big ass <laughs> Rodney Buffett. What the fuck? Canadian hunter Rodney Buffett was on a trip to the south coast of New Finland in October of 2017 when he spotted a 14 point bull moose. He fired two shots at it both of which hit their target. The moose collapsed with its legs in the air and the 38-year-old experienced hunter put his weapon down and approached it to start processing the remains. Buffett radioed his fiance to bring him his knives, but moments later, the moose regained its senses and charged him. It struck Buffett with its antlers and threw him in the air, then stomped on him. During a five minute struggle, the hunter tried to steer the moose away by grabbing his antlers. Looking back on his beer handed battle for survival, Buffett would remember that it seemed like forever. He was ultimately able to kick the moose several times in the face, at which point it trotted away. Rescuers reached Buffett after a two mile trek through the woods, and the medevac helicopter subsequently took him to a hospital in St. John's. The hunter suffered no internal injuries but was left with a hoof shaped mark on his forehead. Speaking to the media in the end. Talk about instant mail. Boah! Keep that forever for your, for your memories. Boah! I almost took you out. Subsequently took him to a hospital in St. John's. The hunter suffered no internal injuries but was left with a hoof-shaped mark on his forehead. Speaking to the media in the incident's wake, Buffett jokingly remarked, They tell me I'm hard-headed. He also believed that the moose he'd shot eventually bled to death and stated an intention of returning to hunting as soon as possible. You heard what I said? He gonna return to hunting as soon as possible. 
bro. Don't don't make the next video. It's fucking around. All right, man. I'm about to come up to a 10 minute mark. Don't like to get too many long videos. If you like long videos, talk to me. I got I, I get them going. But I do want to start switching it up, man. Let's check out other things. Let's get up in here, man. Let me know. Animals, fucking robberies, this and that, whoop de whoop. Nothing too violent. But you already know what's going on. Gigi Fan, Benny Blogs. Yes. Cuss up on this corner, stack your twenties and fifties. No pillow talking to these hoes, they gon' tell all your 